Greetings, my people. How are you doing? How are my people doing? Today, I want us to look into um, this uh, particular problem that that has been ravaging uh, the country called Nigeria. I mean, uh, the the flood issue. Uh, let's look into this very very particular problem because. It seems like uh, people don't know the cause of this uh, very, very flooding. It is not too much rain. And uh, uh, the country called, so-called Nigeria is blessed with a good uh, climate. We don't used to have natural disasters. Everything that got to do with natural disaster, all this flooding, tsunami, uh, earthquake, uh, landslide, um, uh, what, what will I call it again? I mean, all these things that used to happen in other countries, Nigeria don't partake on that. So this very problem of uh, um, flooding, uh, this is the overlook of uh, the Nigerian elites. What I'm, what I said elites, I mean the people in authority, the ones who are supposed to care for the poor masses. The issue that they overlook all this is simply because it does not affect them. Can you imagine that the flood has been taking over people's lives? About 3,000 something, about 100 and something, about 100 million houses destroyed, farm life destroyed. The, 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 our elites, the women who are supposed to care for their fellow women, who, who is out there in anguish dying of hunger and starvation they are in lagos singing as independent that's so it is with us imagine the 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 the, 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 um, uh, the first lady of the of the country is there murmuring and the foolishing herself out there forgotten that now in her country flood have taken over people's country flood, flood have taken over people's states farmland houses People are dying on daily basis. This particular issue of flooding started since 1981. So to say, if I'm not mistaken, Nigeria and Cameroon have an agreement to build a dam. Uh, Cameroon is building a dam called uh, Legdo Dam. So, and uh, they instructed Nigeria to build also their own dam. In the sense that when the 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 dam of Cameroon need to, I mean, need to, they need to uh, uh, um, uh, like take out wet some when the, the dam is overflow, they need to excrete it so that the thing we 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 go down, it will not uh, suffocate the dam and the people around those area. This agreement they were signed it since uh, uh, the Cameroon started their own in 1976. And Nigeria also agreed to build their own, called Dasen Hausa Dam. It's supposed to be two and a half size of the Cameroonian own, so that whatever flood or whatever water the Cameroon uh, uh, release from their own, the Nigerian own can be able to withstand it. Could you imagine that Nigeria started building our own dam since 1981 to death? No government official have ever commented about it. Even the most painful part of it, is this issue that is happening, this uh, uh, flooding that is happening, the governments know exactly the problem. And they refuse to comment because they know that the project of this dam have been going on on daily basis. Every uh, administration that came on must receive the, the budget of this dam. And they will pocket it because when the flooding starts, even if it affect their houses, highest thing they will do, they will enter to their private jet and jet out to London, UK, to America, to wherever, Dubai, and the rest of them. Even our former uh, uh, president, good Lord, Ebele Jonathan, his house was also gulfed with this overflowing of water. Can, could you imagine? How can, they, how can our leaders be so callous? How can they be in a position to handle things that will, that will benefit to the poor, they will not do it. Instead, they will pocket that money, go to abroad, 
lodge, lodging on a very expensive hotel, buying expensive wines and the rest of them, die, dining on the uh, 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 expense of the poor masses, dining in their own country. Just take for the case of uh, uh, our massacre. The so-called president of Nigeria, for one day till death, have never made a single comment on the people that they have massacred in that place. And you tell us we have a country or we have a president, a president who have no any single interest, even people dying on daily basis because it didn't affect him or any member of his family. He dare not comment. Rather, he was sympathizing with the uh, Niger uh, police that died on the front of duty. Why millions of people have been dying in the so-called Nigeria on daily basis, he dare not comment anything. Does he mean that the blood of Nigerians does not mean anything to them? Does he mean that the people that is dying on daily basis that have been massacred either by kidnappers or bandits or what would I call them? Or the terrorists or Ishwap, it have no any single meaning to them. What kind of a country are we running into? I want us to emphasize on this very, this very damn matter. This matter, can you imagine that? So Cameroon now is they care more about their citizens than Nigeria that have everything it takes to build even one million of that such dam. Yet the project comes on daily basis and they pocket the money. Let's look straight into the news. What happens and how? What how government is planning to tackle? This is a, this a problem of flooding. Nigeria, Cameroon, and the Lando Dam. Look at it here. A picture, a picture of the devastating efforts of flooding across Nigeria was provided by the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs. One more thing again I want to add on this. People have been dying in their, in their thousands on daily basis. Houses have been destroyed. People have been left out without food for months, for, I mean, for days. Could you imagine that people have, who have been sending to as air, that is to share all the eggs, they begin they have begun to hug the food, just like the way they hide the 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 the, the, the palliative during COVID nineteen. What kind of country? I mean, what kind of wicked people do we have in Nigeria? How I mean, how do we get to this point? To the extent that people are dying and people still have the mind to hide the things. People donated, not them donated, or just go and share to these people, they will corner it to their own self. And tomorrow they will come in and begin to say that Puede Buara is not good and that social person good luck is not good. While in that their area they have given them to manage, did they manage them well? That is the problem we are having in Nigeria on daily basis. But people who are commenting that the ones at the top are not doing well, look at the area they are handling, whether they are doing well or not. He said, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadia Omar Farouk. According to her, as of October 16, no fewer than 2,504,095 Nigerians have been affected by floods across the country. A breakdown of the tragedy showed that 1,302,589 people were displaced and 2,407 people injured while 603 people were killed. Again, 121,318 houses were partially damaged. 82,053 houses totally damaged. 108,392 farmlands partially damaged, as they said. And 332,327 farmlands totally damaged. Farouk noted that her ministry was working earnestly towards the construction of about two dams. Let them complete the one they have started since 1981 till death. How many years now? A son or daughter that was born in 1981 now have even retired to give birth. And even the, death, even the, 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 the kids that the, that person gave have already married and have great grandchildren. And still, a single dam, Nigeria cannot complete it. What a shame. I am shaming for this country. Adding that the project will be quite expensive. That is what we keep hearing. But we, Nigeria can borrow $1.9 billion to build a railway from here to Maradi, Niger. But the dam that is, look at Adamawa, have been, have been, have been taken over. What do they call it? Uh, Bayesa have been taken over. 
Delta will be taken over. Anambra State has been taken over. Kogi has been taken over. And more other states to come will be consumed because nobody knows the extent of this dam or overflow when it is going to stop. I weep for the poor. Farouk noted that Minister working NSA is okay. He said it will be quite expensive and will take a long period of time to complete. She also noted that state governors had met with the President Buhari, who said, uh, who she said had directed that all the ministers, departments, and agencies, MDALs of the government should work with the subnational uh, government to curb the effects of the flood. flood. While governments at all levels are busy dragging their feet, nearly the entire country is being uh, uh, ravaged by floods. Of course, they are busy dancing as they pen them in the, in, the, in, the, in the switchers. That is what we got in the country. At the expense of the poor masses, they are out there full, fooling themselves. Uh, imagine Aisha of all people. She is there dancing as they pen them. While her own fellow women are out there dying of hunger and starvation. Already businesses have been ruined and lives have lost to flooding. Orchestrated in large part of the release of the water from the Lando Dam, located in the northern province of Cameroon. That is it. That is it. How can Cameroon build such a dam? And they give Nigeria earlier notice, earlier warning. This kind of thing happened 2012. 2013, they still want Nigeria. Look at what is going to happen. Look at what is going to happen. The earlier your people completed this uh, uh, Dasen uh, Hausa Dam, the better. And they closed their eyes. Instead, they instructed Cameroon to be giving them information each time they want to open the dam so that they can be prepared for the flood. They don't do the needs for they cannot. Instead, they are using the money meant for the poor masses to, to ride private jets. Common ordinary flag of uh, Cameroon, uh, uh, what they call the PDP uh, uh, Presidential Council, they do the New York. Five, 15 private jets is what PDP governors used to land there. People who, who is even using 404 before they enter the seat. Now they are riding private jets, all of them, at the expense of the poor masses. And you tell me that this country will be good. Tell me who will enter that place now that we say, oh, I'm going there now to work for the poor masses. None. They will go there to continue from where others stopped. And that is why all of them are fighting tooth and nail. But you ask them, they say, Nigeria don't have money, Nigeria borrow. Then what are you going there to do if not if the country don't have money? Rubbish. The dam which began operating in 1982 is located 50 kilometers south of the city of Garoa on the Benue River. Its construction was intended to supply electricity to the northern part of the country and allow the irrigation of 15,000 hectares of crops downstream. But states in Nigeria, not northeast, namely Borno, Adamawa, and Taraba, are usually flooded whenever water is released from it because you refuse to do your own dam. Nigerians will no doubt have been shocked by the report that upon the completion of the Lago Dam, the Nigerian government was meant to embark on a similar project along the river Benue. The purpose was to con contain the flood water released upstream from Lago Dam and prevent flooding and the uh, attendant consequences. However, the dam which was to be located in uh, Dasen village of uh, Fufure, local government area of Adamawa state, was never built. The project had been started but you never completed. Tell yourself the truth. You push to for stop coming to the social media and be uh, and be and be lying. Okay. If, 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 that, if that should be the case, the dam is supposed to be constructed since 1982. So what hold you people from not doing it? Even those times that you people are saying this, is when in Nigeria is not even in debt. When Nigeria is debt free, that they have even a lot of money looking for where to spend it. You cannot do it. Then now that Nigeria is in debt, they are telling us that it will be, be more expensive than borrowing money to buy SUVs for Niger, building a railway from here to Niger. We are good to other people, but we are not good to our own self. This thing used to happen every 10 years. It happened 2012, and this, this happened again 2022. Next one again, it will happen is 2032. 
And I, I, I still believe that today Nigeria have not even do anything about the dam. Now they have started to talk. Uh, it will because it will be more expensive than to build a dam like that. that. Cameroon here, who don't have money, who don't even have any oil to export, they build their own. Then on their own, is to pocket the money and travel abroad. We are already taking steps to do the consortium, and we have started looking at how we we can improve on the old design. The size of the dam we are looking at will take us 36 months to finish it. But right now, we know that the original feasibility study that was done in 1982 is a bit outdated. The Cameroonian government finished the construction of Lago Dam in 1982, okay? But Nigeria is there to develop its own dam. So anytime the Cameroonian government wants to release water from the dam, they always allow the Nigerian government so as to evacuate people to avert casualties. The proposed dam, when built, will be 1.4 km long, 40 meters deep, and contains 16 cubic liters of water. Aside from, aside from uh, being used for flood control, the dam also has some economic benefits like its ability to irrigate 150,000 farmlands and hold 20,000 tons of fish annually. That is it. Something that can be a beneficial to the to the Nigeria or to the poor. Let's say to the poor, they will not do it. Instead, they will use the money to do other stupid things for their own uh, stomach infrastructure or for, the, for their own selfish desire. It is 10 years since Ad Adano's pronouncement. Yet, what the federal government has continued to give Nigerians is mere promises, of course, among other devastating consequences. Hectares of, uh, hectares of rice and other plantations have been disappeared, and thousands of farmers thrown into debt and agony. Yet, the calamity was preventable. It is regrettable that a country like Cameroon, that is significantly less populated than Nigeria, has greater foresight in starving off flooding at the moment. Bayesa state is literally underwater, and the federal capital territory Abuja is battling fuel scarcity created by the inability of trucks conveying fuel to navigate their way through the confluent state. Indeed, many vehicles have plunged into the shooting flood, their owners eternally, eternally silenced. Child, the Nigerian government, which failed to fulfill its own part of the bargain after Cameroon built its Lado Dam, is complicit in this tragedy. Nigeria, virtually the only country without constructing its own end of the Ecowas Road, has suffered from poor leadership for decades, and it and it is legitimate to ask what precisely is being done right in this country. Nothing. Nothing is precisely being done well in Nigeria. The question of Memorandum of Understanding MOE between Nigeria and Cameroon meant to, to staff off the in incessant destruction of life and property is definitely another indication of the lack of foresight on the part of Nigeria's political leadership. The leadership simply does not know how to run an effective government that, uh, that uh, prioritizes the welfare of Nigerians. Just how can the government, Nigerian government, compel another sovereign country to help save the lives and property of its own citizens when it hasn't the slightest interest in their welfare and never puts them first? The release of water from the Lago Dam by Cameroon which has become the source of unimaginable destruction in Nigeria, is apparently meant to save the dam and the ancillary properties in Cameroon. The point is, for Nigeria to be able to manage through the construction of its own dam, any flow from the Lago Dam rather than seeking to control its operation from Nigeria. The federal government must get a dam constructed in no time. This is a responsibility. It should take seriously rather than relying on Cameroon to save Nigerians. That is exactly the problem. They rely on Cameroon to save Nigerians. Then they are saving uh, uh, Niger that have no any single impact to Nigeria, that have not contributed a single dime to Nigeria to help in the area of security, in the area of infrastructure, in the area of development. Yet Nigeria is spending money on them. Look at the problem 
the the citizens are facing and i'm very 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 sure that this dam they're talking about will never cost anything close to the money they spent building a railway from here to maradi uh, nigel what for i'm very sure that the money to build this dam will not be anything to compare with the buying 10 suvs that what billions of naira to the Nigerian republic simply because the ruler of the country is from there then the people that have the country that have the oil that will be used to do all these things that they are even using the the the, the destiny of their great grandchildren borrowing money from different countries and different uh, microfinances living in the country have nothing to gain from this country how do we get to this point nigerians the question is still hanging on the air we have no answer until i come your way again i just say let me bring this to our notice the cause of the uh, 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 overflow of water called flooding in across the country in nigeria this is the cause the nigerians leaders never take it citizen serious they are happy when the citizens are dying on daily basis that is the problem we are facing in this country called nigeria who do us i don't know but soon we will know until i come your way again still remain your one and only okute daily talk bye for now Okay, Messiano.